Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The firm only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Welcome to Navigating Retirement with Rick Durkee. Hey, thank you for joining us now for segment three of our four-part series on health insurance planning and the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Got a lot of great information. Have a new guest, Nathan White. Nathan, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Now, Nathan is here with us at the Coastal Financial Planning Group, and he provides our clients and prospective clients with retirement income plans, defined outcome income plans, as we call them. Jason, you joined us last segment. Glad to have you back yeah, again. Thanks for having J- me. Jason is our resident expert on health insurance. He's been in the health insurance industry since 1998. His father was in it way before that. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've known Jason for 20 plus years here, and, uh, and, and it's a pleasure to have him back again today. He's the author of Medicare Blueprint. And for those of you that are thinking about Medicare and uh, coordination of all these healthcare benefits, you can request a copy of his book, Medicare Blueprint, today in our show. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share this episode and past episodes of Navigating Retirement. Sharing is caring. Share this information with others you know and care about that'll benefit from today's topic. It's so easy to do this in today's digital world. Hit the like button, the share button, or ring the bell. We have offers to send you today, many informational resources that'll be described below that you can click on and request your copy of that information. Simple to do. Click on it. You'll get some resources today. Let's get started with today's episode of Navigating Retirement. So guys, we've covered two segments already here on our discussion of health insurance and how it's changed. Jason, you shared with us some information last segment on you know, how things have been pre the ARPA Mm -hmm. Okay. And now post. And so I wanted to bring on Nathan White today. Nathan, good to see you. Yep. See you every day, every (laughs) week. But hey, it's glad to have you here on Navigating Retirement. Uh, Is this your rookie episode? Uh, It is the rookie episode. And actually, after listening to Rick on the radio 15 years ago or so, it's exciting to be on the other side of the microphone. (laughs) (laughs) Now, Nathan helps us here with our defined outcome income plans for our clients at the Coastal Financial Planning Group and also our prospective clients. You are listeners and viewers. So you want to take advantage of our offers today. We're going to have three of them for you. One is a copy of this white paper that Nathan just uh, developed. And it was thanks to Jason bringing this information to our attention and how it could affect you, our viewers, uh, when it comes to deciding when to retire or how to retire. Our second opportunity is going to be that you are always available to click on a button and request a 15 minute phone consult to see how your individual situation factors into the information we share with you on navigating retirement. The third opportunity is gonna be what Nathan will talk to us a little bit about today is the importance of coordinating your income planning and also how you take income now if you decide to retire between say 60 and 65 to keep within these ranges of how we're going to find um, health insurance now and subsidies to pay for our individual health insurance in our uh, post-retirement years if we decide to retire early. Don't want to steal all the thunder. Um, There's some information here that Nathan, I'm going to ask you to help us with here. There were some uh, issues that Jason and I talked about last segment. Those facing layoffs would no longer be uh, covered by their employee's health insurance. Um, They might be forced to secure their own individual health insurance through the exchanges, and many were forced into a retirement decision uh, as to whether or not they should take an option that might be given them to to retire without health care. And the cost of going to the individual health care and then managing their income 
so that they wouldn't go over these thresholds that you shared with us last time, Jason. So Nathan, share with us uh, why you felt it was so important to encapsulate this information today into your white paper. Yeah. So everybody that comes to see us gets a a retirement income plan. We want to look at the facts of their situation, know exactly what they are, and then put them into a format that's easy for them to understand and make good decisions going forward. And so when we started learning about these changes to the Affordable Care Act, we realized that it was a good opportunity for a lot of people that we had talked to or may talk to in the future um, to change these facts in their income plan. Some people that may have wanted to retire but couldn't because of the cost of health care. We just saw a really good opportunity to be able to talk to them um, and get this information to them when it's really not being publicized very well. Mm -hmm. Now, Jason, you mentioned this and touched on it. So I want to go into a little bit more detail in segment two, but we're going to go into it here in segment three. And this is in Nathan White's white paper on the subject, all the details of what we've been talking about segment one, two, and we'll talk about in our summary and segment four are available on the white paper. But there was a problem here. And on this opposite end of the problem, many ended up with increased work hours, especially those in healthcare that help provide assistance and and, uh, emergency services during this COVID year that we just had. Um, they increased their income unexpectedly. And Jason, what did that cause? What was that? What the issue that that caused? Absolutely. There there was some negative effects of that. Um, It's always good to make more income, but it did push some of these people over that subsidy limit and they had to pay it all back. Mm -hmm. Um, So that that was one of the unintended consequences. But now with the American Rescue Plan, you don't have an income limit. You can make as much as you want and still qualify for a subsidy. Um, so that's that's the the good thing. Now it's uh, managing your income. And that's where, you know, and the white paper even even talks about that is it's, it's very important to manage your income while you're in this pre-retirement, this uh, pre-Medicare phase. So it's a, it's really important to figure out what's the best way to have income mm-hmm. and, and, and get your income during that period to minimize your 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 income and, and get the maximum subsidies and that when, are available to you. When you reference that period, mm-hmm. share with our viewers what that period Absolutely. looks like. Yeah. What is it? So, uh, it, it, and COVID even and it, it brought this to to the forefront. Now, is a lot of people um, were hesitant about retiring because of the cost of healthcare and just what am I going to do with all this time? Yeah. But now that they were spending more time at home, they realized. Well, this is great. I, I want more of this. I like so, working from home, absolutely. Right? Or, so, or not. That's what we uh, <laughs> not what we're, paid. <laughs> exactly, and that's why we we start seeing that is we're um, you know that sixty to sixty four phase that's pre Medicare that um, they didn't know what to do with their health care or what the cost was going to be. And I mean, it's substantially different now. Um, it's it's it, now a, a husband and wife making six figures, a hundred thousand a year, they may be able to get an insurance plan for 150 bucks a month. That's, and, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how do those come to them? They come two ways, right? Correct. So you can take it as an advanced premium tax credit so you can get it now and it will help reduce your monthly premium. Or if you, uh, you want to wait, you can just get it as a full refund on your taxes when you file your taxes the next year. So, okay. And uh, it is reconciled when you file your taxes. So if you're due more, um, you're going to get a bigger refund. They're not going to um, keep uh, any additional amount. So it, it's a huge benefit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Information flows fast today, y'all. You have to act fast. You have to get this information. We've got the resources for you. Again, the white paper is going to go into a lot of details. We have some uh, actual printouts of some examples of what people are actually going to have to pay for their health insurance now. And we're talking about like zero dollars for some some circumstances that before it Mm -hmm. never would have been affordable to them or afforded afforded to them. Now it becomes affordable to be able to retire in retirement. Nathan, we thank you for um, your time and creating the white paper available drop down, look right below there. You've got an opportunity to be able to request the white paper. You've got an opportunity to be able to step two, be able to call us, get a 15-minute phone consult for your individual situation. And step three is 
We're going to encourage you, if you call us, to go through the process of developing your retirement income plan so you can decide, yes, it may be time that I do retire now, that I've had a little bit of time to consider it uh, during the last year. So um, that's all we have for today. But hey, you can keep on watching episode four. Click on episode four and watch right away for our next edition of Navigating Retirement. Catch more of Rick Durkee and Navigating Retirement by visiting cfpgroup.biz. While we believe the information in this broadcast is reliable, we cannot guarantee its accuracy. Opinions expressed are subject to change without notice and are not intended as investment advice or solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Please consult your financial professional before making any investment decisions. Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. A new Annuity guarantees are based only on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory clients are charged a fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission, which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation. Third-party rankings and recognition from rating services and publications do not guarantee future investment success. Working with a highly rated advisor also does not ensure that a client or prospect will experience a higher level of performance. These ratings should not be viewed as an endorsement of the advisor by any client and do not represent any specific client's evaluation. Generally, ratings, rankings, and recognition are based on information provided by the advisor. Please contact the advisor for more information regarding how these rankings and ratings were formulated.